Ohm's law defines the voltage current relationship for resistors. If we have a resistor R as shown here, then we can state that V equals I times R. Actually, this information is incomplete because we must include the direction of the current and the polarities of the voltage. Ohm's law requires that the current must enter the positive polarity of the voltage as shown here. The graphical relationship between the resistor's voltage and current is linear as shown here. The slope of the line here is 1 over R because the graph shows I versus V or the slope is delta I over delta V. If you look into the graph it is possible that the voltage is positive value then the current must also be positive value. It is also possible that the voltage going to be a negative value then the current is also going to be a negative value. A very important concept that is frequently used in electronics is that as the current flow through the resistor the voltage drops. Ohm's law can be extended to the nodal voltages. Here we are showing you a resistor R that is connected between two nodes V1 and V2. The current through the resistors may be assumed to flow from V1 to V2 or it may be assumed to flow from V2 to V1. Either assumption is valid, the current is going to be positive in one direction but negative in the opposite direction. We will assume the current is flowing from V1 to V2. We will call it I. Based on this assumption, the positive polarity voltage is going to be at the V1 side. Using Ohm's law, we can define the voltage across the resistor that is V1 minus V2 which is equal to I times R. This is Ohm's law. Now we are going to tweak this equation a little so if we take V2 to the right side of the equation and we bring I times R to the left side of the equation then we can state that V2 is equal to V1 minus I times R. This is another form of Ohm's law and it is very useful in analyzing electronic circuits. Let's state it again and we need to visualize it so let's pay attention here we're going to say that the lower end voltage that is V2 is equal to the higher end voltage that is V1 minus the voltage drop across the resistor that is I times R. Let me say it again very quickly. The voltage at the lower end will equal to the voltage at the higher end minus the voltage drop. 